गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन दिस इज चंद्र क्लाउ टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर एट सिक्स ब्लाइंड मैन मेनी ए टाइम वी हैव आर्ग्यूमेंट्स विथ अदर पीपल बिकॉज ऑफ डिफरेंस ऑफ ओपिनियन बट वी शुड नॉट क्वेरल विथ अदर्स बिकॉज वी मस्ट रियलाइज दैट एवरी बॉडी लुक्स एट थिंग्स फ्रॉम ए डिफरेंट एंगल सी वी ऑल आर डिफरेंट ह्यूमन बींग्स वी ऑल हैव अवर सेपरेट पर्सनल ब्रेन्स सो ऑल द ब्रेन्स कैन नॉट थिंक अलाइक so that means if there is any particular topic or if there is any issue or any matter two different people can think two different things about that but that does not mean that one of them is wrong and one of them is right maybe they both are right maybe they both are wrong maybe one is right and one is wrong and most of the time when we see any particular thing and when we start discussing about that or when we discuss anything then two different people can give two different opinions similarly three different people will can give three opinions different opinions and when they do not match we starts fighting with each other we starts uh, arguing with each other but that should not happen that means maybe there are many sides of a particular thing or any particular matter or any particular issue different peoples think dif by different angles so that means if there is some difference in our thinking and someone else uh, thinking then we must to try to understand his opinion we must try to think that from which angle he is considering the things instead of fighting with them here is the story of six blind men in this chapter we are going to learn uh, one story and this story is about six men who were friends and uh, but they were blind the six friends decided to go to a fair there they heard people shouting look an elephant is coming let us take a ride on it that means since all the six friends were blind they could not see but they heard some sound when they reached to fair they heard some sound that the people who were there in front of them or nearby them they were shouting that one elephant is coming and we will ride on it when the elephant came near the friends also became an anxious to know what an elephant look like that means since all the six friends were blind so they have never seen any elephant so when the people starts shouting that elephant is coming they also got curious that how this elephant uh, may be looking okay so we also want to know actually how an, an elephant looks one by one they touched the elephant the first blind man moved his hands around its big stomach he said an elephant is like a ball since the six friends could not see so they decided to touch the elephant and find out actually how this elephant look like so first man touched the stomach of the elephant and he said that his stomach is like a uh, ball the second blind man was standing near the tusk of elephant he touched it and said an elephant is smooth and pointed at the tips it is like a spear that means the second friend who was also blind that second friend touched the tusk of the elephant that means two tooths uh, two teeth which uh, coming out from the mouth of the elephant those uh, two uh, teeth actually he touched and he said that oh no it is just like some sharp object some pointed object just like a spear the third blind man moved his hands around the elephant's leg he said you people are talking nonsense an elephant is like a pillar then the third friend touched the legs of the elephant and he said that uh, you all are saying nonsense nonsense means those things which are not making any sense that means you don't know anything you are simply saying anything an elephant is like a pillar the fourth blind man touched the trunk of the elephant he could feel it moving he said no no an elephant is like a big snake whereas the fourth friend he touched the uh, trunk of the elephant front portion and he uh, feel it like moving that means the uh, trunk was moving here and there so he said it is just like a snake the fifth man was near the tail and said what are you all saying i know an elephant is like a rope so the fifth person touched the tail of the elephant and he said that you all are saying anything simply you don't know anything actually the elephant is just like a rope the sixth man touched the elephant's ear and said you are all wrong an elephant is like a big fan 
द लास्ट पर्सन द लास्ट फ्रेंड और लास्ट पर्सन टस्ट द इयर ऑफ द एलिफेंट एंड ही सैड दैट यू ऑल आर लाइन यू डोंट नो एनी थिंग यू ऑल आर रोम वेर एज द एलिफेंट इज जस्ट लाइक ए फेन बिकॉज इट्स इयर्स वर मूविंग सो ही सैड इट्स जस्ट लाइक ए बिग फेन each of them thought that he was right in the same way we think our opinion to be right and we fight with others who have different opinions you see all the six friends who were blind actually they were saying different things because they were uh, looking at a different side of the elephant that means they touched a different part of the elephants elephant so their opinion were different but that does not mean that any one of them was lying all of them were saying truth only so that means the same thing can have more than one side maybe we are not able to see it but the person who is standing in front of us he is able to see it so for the same reason if our opinion does not uh, does not match with someone else then we should not fight with them we should try to understand their side also we should think from their side also we should learn to appreciate other people's opinion appreciate means to praise this will go a long way in improving our relations with them that means if our opinions are not matching with them then we should not fight with them whereas we should appreciate them that they are able to see one another side of that particular thing which i cannot see that side he was able to see so instead of fighting with them we should praise them thought of the day be aware of hasty judgments of good or bad right or wrong truth lies somewhere in between hasty man means very fast judgments means uh, making any particular opinion about someone that means uh, he is not a good person uh, he is a bad person and uh, he is not saying the truth he is simply saying anything we should not make any such decisions very fast that means first of all we must think from his side also so we must not directly judge someone as a good person or a bad person whether he is right or wrong because truth lies somewhere between that means we have to calmly think about that maybe the truth is that both of their opinions are correct so this is the thought of our story